want to give you all some solace for you ones that have been going through, the ones that's been persecuted, accused falsely, ostracized, you know, lied on, stolen from, manipulated, witchcraft, even the ones that have lost their life, innocent bloodshed. I want you to know that blood speaks. It's speaking. And it's crying out to the Most High God. But let me give you some solace. I want you to rest today because I want you to know that your cries, your sorrows, your voice have reached the Lord. It have reached him and he hear it and he sees it. And let me tell you, judgment is coming. Yes, judgment is coming for the ones that hurt you. So I want to read this to you guys. And this is Revelations 21 and 8. And this goes out to these evil dogs who tolerate evil and refuse to stand up for what's right. They turn a blind eye. They turn a blind eye, sweep it under the rug. Oh, yes. This goes out to you scared, wicked dogs that eat off of Jezebel's table. Oh, yes. You down with the get down. You play footsies with Jezebel. That's your friend. That's your main person. Jezebel. You in cahoots with her. But let me tell you, judgment is coming for you. You know, they prejudices. They're evil. Fear mongering. Scared. Go along to get along. This is for you. Revelations 21 and eight and it reads but the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death and I want you to take note who's first in line. You cowards, you fearful ones, too scared to open your mouth. The Lord have placed you in positions of authority, but you want to go along to get along. You let Jezebel usurp and use your authority to come against the Lord's people. Well, I want you to know judgment is coming.